<laughs> Hello everybody, it's Guy Wolf. Mostly up to now, I've done nothing but videos on um, banjo and guitar and stuff, and I thought it'd be fun to make a few for uh, my pottery friends out there. I'm just going to throw a six pounder. Six pounds uh, is, uh, I make a lot of flower pots, that's what I do a lot of. And uh, six pounds is sort of the largest of the small pots. Then you start, you know, 10 pounds, 16 pounds, 20 pounds are sort of the mediums. And then you get into the, you know, 30 to 80 pounds is you know, a little bit more serious. Um, the one thing to say to the student, it's really good to push in enough that you can really grab onto a batch of clay. And what most kids don't hear is that the distance between here and maybe here, the further apart your hands are, when you're pushing out on the inside, pushing in on the inside, the further apart your hand is, the more material you're going to move. So if you're moving clay quickly, the hand on the inside is probably about two inches higher. And so it really isn't magical that the clay goes up that quickly. It's you've left enough space for the clay to move. So I'm going to do that again. This is just pushing in pretty hard and pushing out pretty hard. This time, my fingers are probably about an inch apart. Another thing that you don't hear a lot, uh, this tool here, of course, I got this from a friend of mine who's a bread, a guy who does, you know, scraping bread. Uh, I think the best way to explain the rib is that it is to the potter what the violin bow is for the uh, fiddle player. Basically, you're... Um, using it to amplify uh, a architectural command. Most architectural commands are with an arch. If the bottom is coming towards you, that's an arch. A straight, or if the bottom is going away from you, a dome. Where your hand is on the inside of the rib pivots in slightly different places, and you can get all sorts of nuances. So I'm just, I'm just going to do what I would call a leading arch from the bottom all the way up to the top. This is a, a nice pot for sort of talking about architecture. So very, very simple um, arch uh, going all the way from the bottom to the top. I'm going to add a little decoration at the top with a coggle. That ends up being sort of like a vine. And I'm going to do, right down at the hip of the pot, I'm going to do another coggle, just to give a, a nice, in, in, old, in the old pots, you'll see lines and things and in parts on the pot, and they're, they're sort of like uh, using um, commas and periods on a, on a sentence. It gives punctuation to the form that's already there. So here we have just a simple arched pot, and at the bottom, I'm going to hold it on the inside and push in, and I'm pushing it into a domed foot with a, a simple uh, beaded foot below it. So that is pretty much it for this one. I'm going to, because this is sort of an older shape, I'm going to put my name on it, which is G. Wolf I put on it, then I put the, the year so that people that are interested know when I made it, and six pounds, so people know what to sell a thing for. Um, if I wholesale it out, they can just look at what the number is and then go back to their sheet and know what the price is. Um, out in the world, I'm kind of known for uh, what they would call training potters, you know, in different countries. And I must say, I, I haven't really trained anybody. I've gone to other countries and learned tons of stuff from them. And uh, the only thing I've ever done is said, why don't you make this shape? It might sell well in the United States. But I went to a shop in Portugal, and they use these 
I call them a Portuguese lifter, which is it's just something that supports the inside of the pot. You'll notice it has a, uh, a little hinge on it, and I'm getting it wet. When I put it in the pot, it just holds the side. Of course, you don't need to use this many when you're making a pot. But uh, and then you get your hand nice and dry and pick the thing up, put it out of the way. I've really enjoyed watching um, uh, Simon Leach uh, out in Spain. I bet you they use these in Spain too. I, I haven't seen them, but uh, I just bet they do.